Hi everyone, it's Dave from Vinyl Nirvana. We're at uh, part three of uh, replacing the uh, elastic coupling rubbers on a model 3009 series 2 SME tone arm. I'm going to just uh, zoom in a little bit here. So we've uh, removed the old gasket, we've cleaned the surfaces thoroughly, and now it's time to actually uh, use some glue and put those gaskets back in. Um, I like to just use a air sprayer to uh, get the last of the debris out here. Again, I am wearing safety glasses. So I've just got some uh, some super glue here. Uh, Gorilla brand is, is what I'm using. I've got the two couplings here, I've got the arm tube, and I've got the protection on the surface so in, in case something is, is spilled is protecting the surface of the, of the turntable here. And uh, we're ready to proceed. So the directions uh, as I pointed out, are, are on Vinyl Engine, uh, page 34 of the service manual, service sheet 25. And it points out that the coupling has a short end and a long end. And it's the short end um, that you're going to be uh, cementing into the, the tone arm. And uh, it's just the tiniest, tiniest uh, drop of glue uh, that you want to use in this. Uh, because if you use too much, it's going to end up coming over uh, the sides and, uh, and making a messy look which is kind of what looks like maybe what the previous person did. So I've got a rather large drop here right now, and it's actually too big to use. So I'm just going to wipe that off and uh, form a very, very tiny half drop on the short end of the gasket and then insert that. So that's what I've got right now, like a half drop, and I'm just spreading it around the gasket with the end of the super glue tube. And I'm going to insert that and wait for that to dry. Okay, it goes right in. By the way, I did uh, dry fit these parts between section one and between uh, parts uh, two and three of the video. I did dry fit these to make sure they went in nice and smooth. Uh, you definitely should uh, attempt and do the same thing. Just applying pressure here for about 20 seconds as the direction state. Okay, and then this uh, this smaller part. Um, it's got a, a little stub on one end uh, that's going outward and uh, directions state to put a tiny bit of glue on the very end of this at the flange and again I'm not even using a whole drop this is like a part of a drop at the very end of that in order to to glue this flange in place um, so um, the next part is to just uh, slide that, uh, what they call the spigot piece in, so that the small diameter lines up with the end of the spigot. So glue is on there, putting this on so that the end lines up with the end of the metal. And I'm just going to let that dry for 30 seconds, and then we'll move on to replacing the arm tube. We're almost done with our repair here. Uh, one thing that I can mention while I'm waiting for that to dry, if this arm tube is, is uh, very, very uh, scratched up, you it might be a good time to tackle trying to remove some of the scratches. And uh, I use a chrome polish, a very fine uh, chrome polish, uh, if, I, if I go to attempt to do this. Um, and you might uh, try doing the same to help you. Okay, these pieces are feeling nice and firmly glued in. So the last part is to uh, apply some uh, glue to what they're calling um, at coupling B, which is the, uh, I'm sorry, coupling C, which is the uh, exterior part of this first one that we put in. And again, it's just going to be a touch of glue, not even a full drop, uh, or else you're going to end both with, with a messy seam here. So I'm squeezing a tiny bit tiniest amount, almost just letting gravity gravity pull that out of here rather than making a full drop. I'm just spreading that around with the tip. Again, you couldn't even have called this a drop. This was less than a drop that I've spread on the end of this because uh, I want to have a have it fit cleanly on here. And uh, we're ready to, to wrap up the repair here, folks. So I'm sliding the tube back on and sliding it onto this last part 
even with the tiny amount I used, I can still see that there's some uh, some glue residue there. So I'm going to quickly take a Q-tip and spread some of that away. Okay, so that's, oh, it's nice and firm. What a difference from how it was before. So that's firmly in place, and I'm just going to let that glue dry. And that's uh, basically the repair to uh, the arm tube. I hope this was uh, really helpful for those who are watching. It's uh, not a bad do-it-yourself repair to tackle it all.